Gerald Cody. I'm here at a good friend of mine's um, restaurant, Keith and Son, where I eat at all the time. And I eat, actually, I ate I ate here for, well, Keith prepared my meals for me uh, most of the time when I fought. And um, it's, 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 it's since he pleasant right where I started boxing at. I started boxing maybe a block or two up the street and see Pleasant Rec, which I would take that pass there in a little bit. But um, see Pleasant means so much to me because it gave me the first opportunity to become a fighter. Um, I started boxing uh, when I was nine years old and my trainer actually told me to run from see Pleasant to McDonald's and, and it's not even a mile away but it was so far to me because my mom used to drive there and I didn't think I could make it because my mom used to drive us to McDonald's <clears throat> on a regular basis. But um, I'm going to try to meet a few guys that started with me. Um, Tony Jackson is one of the guys that I boxed with, one of the first guys I boxed with. Um, me and Tony had, uh, a, a, I guess what you call it, what we call wars back then. Me and Tony used to box each other all the time. He's the only, he's the only, he's the only guy on my side that got come up until a guy named Andre Hill, which became my best friend. Um, sorry to say that Andre passed away a few years ago, but Andre was so good, he, he never lost an amateur fight. What's up, Tim? He never lost an amateur fight. <clears throat> and um, I, 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 it, it goes back so far as far as how things happened and, and, and the way things got started.